Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. So bear with me. Uh, last week I had to work on my 04 Heritage Harley. I had to put rear brakes on it. Through the process, uh, I noticed that the back of my bike was different than all the videos that I've seen. Uh, most of the videos that I've looked at on YouTube basically showed taking the caliper off the, the rotor, pull a cotter pin, remove your brake pads, put the pistons back in, put the brake pads back in, put the pin back in, replace it. Mine seems to be different. Why, I don't know. Got to looking and I noticed there was a lot of comments and questions from a lot more people that had the same system that I got. So what I decided to do is put a little video together uh, on what I learned. Now, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not licensed, this is just what I learned from the directions that I found. And I thought I'd bring it to you guys, that way you could pretty much try to do your own brake pads if you wanted to. Uh, now, the video I put together was just showing what the directions told me to do till I got to a certain point where you take the pads out. Now, I ended it there. All you do is repeat the, the steps backwards, but I'm going to give you this advice. When you're doing this, make sure that you put the pistons seated all the way back into the caliper. If they're not seated, it's not that easy to do. You're going to have to kind of move it around a little bit to get it in place. And it can be put back in place if you put the pins back in. But if you get the pistons seated properly, it makes it a lot more easier. I didn't get the pistons properly seated. It took me an extra 10 to 15 minutes to get it done. But with that said, I'm going to show the small clip that I did, and I hope you enjoy, I hope it helps. Um, so if it does, please subscribe, like, dislike, always your choice, hit that notification bell, comment below if this helps you, if not, if it doesn't, and it doesn't make sense, please let me know. And I will try to put another video out on the same thing, and maybe it'll make more sense then. But I'm going to put this video with the little one that I got. It's not very long. Please enjoy. I hope it helps. If you look right here, there's my caliper. Here's the bar going back to the axle. According to the instructions that come in the brake pad, pull this screw, loosen this screw, loosen this pin, loosen this pin. Do not remove them, just loosen them. Take a straight edge, putty knife, whatever, slip down in here, seat your pistons. Then remove the screws just far enough till the inside pad falls out. Okay guys, here we go. Here's my brake caliper. I know I just showed the video. 
I just wanted to touch on this a little bit more. Uh, make sure everybody understands what I'm talking about. According to the directions, you loosen this top bolt right here. Remember, it is a 12 point. I believe that one's a 10 millimeter. The direction says loosen that one. And only loosen these two pins. These two pins are what holds the brake pads in. Now, once you get those loose and you got all the piston seated back into the proper amount where they're all the way in at that point drop the brake pads out after you pull those pins then all you do is retrace your steps put the brake pads back in Put the pins back in and tighten them down. And that's all there is to it. Again, make sure that the pistons are seated properly into the cylinders. And there's pistons on this side and on this side. It is a four piston caliper. Two on each side. And basically that's all you got to do. Uh, just be careful, take your time. My brake pad set came with instructions inside it. And all I did was step by step. I now have brand new brake pads on the back of the bike. And I just wanted to bring this to you to make sure that you understand what I was talking about. It's a fairly simple, easy job. It makes it easier if you have a lift or a jack to put it up on. That way you're not all the way on the ground. Um, and you can get underneath it to look up if you have to. But take your time. Have a little patience. And it could be done.